How's all my fishing buddies doing today? Let's get into Sabine River Hotspot. So I'm going to show you, this is part one. I'm just going to cover one section of the river because Sabine is such a huge map. But take a look at my rod and reel combo. Let me show you my favorite rod and reel combos to put together to use on the Jinko Listic swim bait. So I do have one rod and reel set up made by 13. The 13 Fishing Concept Z Reel and the Fate Black 2 Casting. Another one of my favorite rod and reels made by Fitzgerald. I use a medium heavy, medium tip, favorite white bird spinning and a favorite white bird spinning reel. Both of them have 30 pound braid. So this first spot right here, which I've shown in some other videos on the college series and open series, right across from the starting point, you'll see a little point right here with some cypress knees sticking out. So right near the edge, bam, look at that. That is a hot spot. So plenty of fish here. Spot number two, since I've shown that spot on several other videos, let's just jump into spot number two. So take a left, so I'm gonna focus on this side of the river in this video for Sabine River Hotspot. So Sabine's a large map and there's so many areas to fish and it's full of fish. Right here, by this little log jam over in the corner right here is another great hot spot. Now I do fish this spot from two different angles straight on like my boat's position now but I also get over to the right and get parallel with the bank so let's check out the fish finder look at those fish this spot's loaded down with some fish so they got catfish bass striped bass spotted bass large mop bass and of course some garfish So let's spin the old boat around, make a few casts. I'll show you where the spot is. This is a very easy spot to find. So if you notice, most of my hot spots are near some type of structure or location where I can pinpoint. So I have spots out in the open water and I don't normally show those in the video because they're hard to locate. Without any land markers or anything, it's hard to find those open water spots. So take a look at this spot right here. Same spot, just move the boat over. Kind of get parallel with the bank so I can move through that hot spot a little bit better. Now there's some nice fish in this spot. Now remember guys, Sabine River does not have large bass. So large mop bass, six to seven pounds is gonna be a great trophy to put in the boat. I do love fishing in Sabine River, so it does remind me of home, but also has some great flathead and blue catfish action. So hopefully one day dovetail fishing will add some legendary catfish to the game. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found Basszilla. All right, let's take a quick boat ride to the next location. So all these locations are gonna be to the left of the starting point. So we got the one spot right there by the Cypress Knees. Another spot over here by this dock or fishing pier by the log jams. Another spot right here by this loading dock. And over here in the corner and in that little canal right there, there's some great fishing action. So we'll show you a great little spot to fish in that canal. But let's take a look at the hot spot by this big cypress tree. Let's see if they got some fish in there. Oh yeah, there's some fish in there. There's a big old catfish, a nice big blue catfish. So Sabine does not have the largest blue catfish in the game, but they do get in the 90 something pound range, which is great. So flatheads also get in the 90 something pound, but that's a beast. Look at the size of that catfish. So 86 pounds, eight ounces, not a bad fish.
Let's make one more cast in that water and I'll show you some fish. So there are fish here. I'm not just going to drive around putting out spots. Let me show you some fish down there. So don't worry. They do have a large mop bass in here. So look at that. There's some fish. There's some fish. Fish on and we got a heartbeat. So I'd also like to mention this little canal, the little opening right there to my left. So let's take a little drive with the boat. We'll put the boat back in a tight spot so we don't want to go all the way back and get stuck. So let's take a little drive. We're going to look for two big old cypress trees. One of them is going to have about four branches that are sticking out over the water that have been sawed off. So there's fish around the opening underneath that river cane that's laying down. I'm going to come back a little ways and see over to my right there's a tree with some branches that have been sawed off. So right there, fish this entire area. So there's no one magic spot in this location, but they do have some fish and they got some nice bass and they got some big monster white bass in this location. So I will also mention right behind me in the end of this little area, you see the blue darkness on the map. The water is about 30 feet deep. Now they have some fish in there and they got some nice bass and some catfish in there. So if you have the time and the patience to fish in that deep water, give that spot a try. So let's take a boat ride to the next spot. So I've tried several times to make a Sabine River hotspot video and I've pinpointed some great locations but there's so many of them on the map it's crazy. So what a large map and a bunch of hotspots. So you see the water is about 30 feet deep around here and does have a bunch of fish. So if you want to spend some time fishing that deep water, drop you down a magnum spoon or some deep diving crankbaits and find you some nice bass and some catfish. So here's another spot that I made a video on just on this location right here where all the cypress knees are sticking out. So as you can see, there's like a flooded pond back there. Some more water that you cannot get to, but there's fish in those cypress knees. So it's basically directly across from that loading dock that I showed earlier. Look at that. So right in the shallow water, just loaded down with fish. Trophy bass, large catfish, garfish, white bass, and some big old striped bass. Now how do these giant fish get in five inches of water? I don't know, but it is a video game. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, drop a comment below. Let me know what you've been catching. I really appreciate you guys when y'all fish these hot spots and y'all come back and say, Hey, I caught up my first legendary fish in this spot. Thanks so much. That means so much to me and I really appreciate it. But wait, there's more. I'm going to throw in just for you guys that watch this video one more spot that's an honorable mention. So it's not a great fantastic amazing hot spot but there is fish there also this is a location where i caught my pb flathead catfish so let's take a look at that action what a nice spot to fish there is some largemouth bass it's all the way by the buoys so i was a little on the fence about showing this spot I fished it uh, several times and it's just not a spot where it just spawns fish that are just amazing that I've seen in other videos. But there is a good amount of fish here. And like I said, I did catch some monster flathead right here. So all the way by these buoys and take a look at this beast. They're going to have some fillets on this catfish right here, boys and girls. So if you watch to the end of the video, I will show my rod and reel setup that I used to catch this catfish. I was fishing for bass, but once I noticed this giant flathead, I just had to switch over and try to catch them. Man, look at the size of those whiskers. 
81 pounds 11 ounces that is a nice fish so it is gold so that is my pb flathead catfish 9406 bass bucks not that i needed i'm almost at 3 million right now so even after i bought several other boats just to test out still have close to 3 million bass bucks so wow what a nice fish so take a look at my loadout i do keep one rod and reel ready to go just in case i see a nice catfish that's the favorite combination so the favorite white bird spinning reel with the favorite white bird spinning rod well thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed keep fishing stay happy and i'll see you next time